Hey folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. This lesson is part four of a series called How to Learn Tunes More Easily. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to look for repeating patterns within tunes so that your brain can more easily recognize them and learn tunes more quickly. Basically, we just notice what parts of a tune are repeated and notice how they are repeated. For instance, Terry Polka, the first and third quarters of the A part are the same. That one little piece is the first quarter and it's the third quarter. So instead of having to learn a first quarter and then learn a new third quarter, you just have to learn that first quarter. It's a two for one special, or as my dad likes to say about coupons, it's a two for. But wait, there's more. Within the first quarter, there's repetition as well because the first four notes are repeated. There they are once and then again. So if you know just those first four notes, you know the entire, you know half the entire A part, which is amazing, right? You can totally focus on getting those mastered. You've made it so much easier for yourself to learn the rest of the tune. So this process is kind of like reading a book, you know, reading words. You, um, you're looking for patterns. You see, once upon a time, you don't have to read once upon a time. You read once upon a time, it's this one thing, it's one idea that bam, is right in your head. And that's what we're trying to do with the fiddle tunes to make sense of them and to kind of map them out in your mind, all right? And by the way, it's a good idea for any tune, no matter how the repetition is, to master the very first thing in there. First things first. It'll really just, along the lines of what we're talking about here, it'll really help you through the tune. So for all the tunes on fiddlehead.com, I developed a system of color-coded tabs to help beginners learn and recognize patterns and tunes. Repeated parts are the same color. So the first quarter and the third quarter have this, uh, are the same thing, and so they're both red. So that means if you're learning the tune, you learn the first quarter, you learn the second quarter, and it's time to learn the thir third, you can, be, you can say to yourself, oh, it's the same color, I already know that. It makes it just a little easier for you to get the entire tune down more quickly. And so also notice that the second quarter is blue, and that the second quarter of the B part is also blue. So that means they're the same thing. So learn that really well. And notice that the fourth quarter of the A part is the same as the fourth quarter of the B part. They're both green. And that the first and third quarters of the B part are purple. So they're the same. In this way, you can reduce a full tune down to a few essential parts. So knowing this, you waste less time and mental energy, and this makes your brain happy. And it allows you to focus on getting a better sound. You know, once you know a tune, you're ready to move on and just make it sound beautiful. So this will get you that to that point more quickly. So that's learning, that's using color-coded tabs. People have been telling me that it's, it's very helpful in, in kind of learning tunes and getting a, an idea of what they have to do, strategizing how they're going to go about it. But I recently came up with another way to do this um, that I call tune mapping, and you can do it on your own. So I'm not sure if it'll be useful, but I hope that maybe if you're, you're interested in it, you try it and let me know how it goes. Let me know if it's, me, if it's worth it for me to keep developing this idea. So in tune mapping, we divide a tune's parts into quarters to help represent how things are repeated. So say we have a tune, let's, let's use Hector the Hero as an example. Just play a little bit so you get it in your head. So if you know the tune, you can picture the rest of it. And anyway, in this tune, none of the quarters are repeated. They're all unique parts. So this is what a tune map for that would look like. So notice that we have A1, A2, A3, A4. They're all unique things. And same thing with the B parts. They're all, the, all the quarters of the B parts are unique things, okay? 
So now let's look at a different tune. Let's go back to Kerry Polka and see what its tune map will look like. So take a good look. Now, notice that A1 is the first quarter, A2 is the second quarter, but instead of writing A3, I write A1 again, and then that helps your brain recognize, oh, this is, these are the same things, I got this. I'm gonna be able to do this if I, really well if I learn the first part. Then we have A4. Look at the B part. Where's the, the, the same thing happens in the B part. The first quarter of the B is the same as the third quarter of the B. And now let's notice some other interesting things. Instead of writing B2, we write A2 because this is the same thing as the part from the A, uh, as the second part of the A part. Uh, and similarly, for the fourth quarter of the B part, we don't have to write B4 because it's not a unique thing. It's the same as A4. So we just write that twice. So anyway, that quickly tells you what, what you have to learn and it, it's, um, I don't know, maybe it's helpful, maybe it's not, but uh, if, if you want to learn more about this, I've developed a few little exercises and I've made some examples to help you kind of fill in the blanks and see if it's something you want to do. And if you like it, you know, you can, you can do these on your own. Anyway, you can find the exercises and examples on fiddlehead.com and all you need is a free trial membership and so, but hey, it's free, so what the heck? Um, and if tune mapping doesn't make sense, if this just seems like too mathy for you and you're like, I just want to fiddle, this is, I don't like that. Well, don't worry because people have been learning music for like 20,000 years without this system. So you'll be fine, but if you are interested in it, you know, again, please let me know what you like about it. What do you think you could improve? If it's something that helps you or not really, or you just, whatever, let me know. Because I want, if, if it's something that people really like, I'm gonna to try to develop it into more of a thing that can, you can use. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more lessons on how to pick up tunes more easily. All this stuff's available for free on fiddlehead.com with play along tracks, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so long. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video clocking. Excellent! And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.